I am back for my final third part of the story mode playthrough. It's been amazing so far. Very much enjoyed going through this game and playing through the cutscenes, the story. I feel invested. I feel like I, I know who I want to do well. I know where we're trying to go with Seneca Racing. Seneca hunt down a podium finish. The objective is to finish third or higher. So now we need to get back into Grid Legend. So I already made a big contact into turn one. Where are we starting? Down in eighth position. Now the target is to finish third, which would mean best of the rest behind Raven West. But obviously I would love to take a win early doors here to start off the day in a good way. And of course there is a full career you can go on to do after this, which is good. Massive crash for Clear Fox. P3, happy days. It's a 1-2 for, for Raven West, but I'm, I'm just kind of getting warmed up. The main thing is we complete the objective. Oh, Strad Alpina. Is this the one where there was the big crash? This is it. Oh, McCain puts Tanaka in the wall. Uh, you made Tanaka is out of surgery and in stable condition, which she, um... They have to amputate the leg below the knee. Oh, wow. I knew there would be a bad crash for Tanaka, but I did not expect them to go that far with it in terms of injuries and stuff. That is... Wow. I, I, oh, I didn't, I did not expect it to, to get that serious that quickly, honestly. When I, I kind of, I'd seen obviously the intro and I knew Tanaka was going to be injured in the crash. And I kind of thought, oh, she might miss a race or two. But, um, no, they went full. I was at, I was at hill climb doing commentary for the, um, the British hill climb championship at Dune when Billy Munger had his horrendous accident at Donington. It was brutal, really, really brutal. And it hit so, so hard. Yeah, it makes you feel things because it shows how dangerous this sport can be. We have a drift showcase, which I think so. What's that second drift event of the of the story mode, or is it the first? Feels it doesn't feel great the drifting so far, in my honest opinion. Obviously, you can tell the car's trying to rotate. It feels like it's on a pendulum, a little bit like the original race driver grid, but it doesn't feel super intuitive or natural. Get close to that corner on the inside. Yeah, there we go. Proximity bonus. Gonna have to be a very good last lap and a half here. But the good thing, as I was saying, I don't think the result actually matters. I think it's just completing it. So I'm learning. Oh, hit that cone on the inside again. I feel like I could have achieved 790 if I was driving a little better from the start and not losing the combos. But we're still gonna cross the line with a decent number of points here. Could we even win? I recovered from no points in the first two laps to win the event. That's fine. Everyone is pretty sad. Thinks Seneca are going to drop out of the league. We've got to finish 7th or higher in this one. Try and find some space. Right, I am under pressure here. I need to perform for Seneca because I, we do not have a second driver bringing in points. So it's me versus the world. And we are going to drop further and further down the Pro League. Who knows, maybe we'll sign Valentin. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. We, 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 Valentin's obviously been shown as a likeable character. He's in the cutscenes. I'm hoping that Valentin comes in to join Seneca. Did you know what, maybe Lara, because she's not that happy at Raven West. Maybe she'll come and join Seneca. That's a good exit. If he leaves me space. Thank you, that is P10, right, come on. P7's what I need. Would try the outside here, but I think I've got enough of an overlap where I can just try and get an inside line out on the exit. And then we should hopefully be able to hold on to the outside into turn one. Maybe even get another one, leave enough room. That's nice. Position eight. Big battle between Claire and Jacob up in front. I'm going to try and find some space. Maybe go for a late breaking move. Oh, thread the needle. I do love that, that you get to know the drivers. You get to know what team they race for in this game because it does feel more real rather than just random AI names that you've never heard before. That's P5. They must keep performing at the highest level to stand a chance of surviving the knockout stages. Knockout stages. Ah, oh, the, the best. Late 70s GT racing. This is where it's at. This, oh man, look at this. This is gonna sound absolutely epic. Now these cars, they may be old, but so much downforce. As you can already see, I'm 135 miles an hour and I'm keeping it absolutely pinned to the apex around the first corner. Ow. Ow. Oh dear. Can we flashback that? No, don't have any flashbacks on. I've actually, I'm still in sixth somehow. Is that enough? Yes, it is. I passed the objective. So I've been scraping my way through the events so far. Not been doing as well, which is kind of cool because I feel like the story doesn't, at this point, want you to necessarily be fighting for the wins. Knockout stages. Oh, team knockouts. Here we go. This is exciting. Okay. Finish sixth or higher in the wet at Barcelona with ramps. 
stadium trucks, and it's knockout. Let's do this with the tippy stadium trucks. And oh, <laughs> there's a crash off the start line. Oh, I wasn't looking. Oh, spinner. Ow. Oh, that didn't help things. That's probably damaged my car. Let's just hope P6 is enough. I think it's just enough. I think the objective is finish sixth or higher. I am scraping my way through this, which I guess is the point, right? Where it's knockout stages. We're we're just trying to hang on at this stage. Another team bites the dust, and Seneca managed to hang in there. Finish fourth or higher. Okay, so the stakes are higher here because we're only on one drive. Obviously, I'm on my own, so I need to outscore teams of two as as a solo driver. Oh, and we're in. Okay, first time we're in uh, stock cars. Excellent. Nice to do some oval racing on the game for the first time. It looks like it's going to be. We'll take a high line. Because I'm assuming the AI won't go too high. But no, they're carrying the speed on the inside. That's good. So it's not it's not just going to be easy for me to plow my way to the front. Inside's a bit risky. We'll go for it anyway. That's where the space opened up for us. Let's just keep it out the wall. Keep the momentum. Contact in front between Som and Jacob. Slipstream makes a big difference. This is fun, actually. I'm very much enjoying the challenge of oval racing on Grid Legends. I'm way later on the brakes here. <laughs> Sent one. Yes. First win of the day. Qualifying for the gauntlet. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Finish fourth or higher. Let's do it. Ooh. We survive. Four laps to do. I really want to win this race. Let's, let's try and... Prove to Raven West, we're not only here to make it to the gauntlet, we're here to fight at the top. That's us. Okay, Lara first. Alright, straightforward enough. Oh, she's used a boost. Well, we'll just use one back. Can we just use another one to go for it? Yeah, let's just get this position. Right, let's get an Nathan then. We'll just use a boost if he does to stay with him. There's one. Let's use one. Oh, I didn't use one, there's a big crash somewhere. Oh, oh that was close. There was a back marker in that somewhere. First place for driver 22, and second and third for Raven West. Still going into the gauntlet with just one driver. Why can't you hire a second driver? Oh. Sorry I'm late. Here we go. Went on a bit too long. Look who's back. Of course, it is tough. I wake up and it's not there. Let me be clear, I'm nowhere near the end of this. You can keep me off the truck if you tried. That's cool. It's something we've seen in real life, in real life motorsport. And um, it's a cool story to depict, really. It adds a lot of emotion to a story that could be quite, it could be quite linear. They could keep it just, you know, Nathan's evil, your teammate's good, but that adds a little bit of emotion to it, which is good. It's inspirational. Hopefully young kids playing this game will, will feel a bit of that. Right, Brands Hatch. Is this just a 1v1? On to the last lap. Now I'm going to break a bit early for Paddock Hill. Be a bit safe just to make sure I stay on the track. Oh, curb. <laughs> Love it. Coming across the line is going to be a 13, I think. 113.6. But Yume's doing well. I, I honestly thought Yume was going to get replaced. It's amazing that she's back. This is what the season has been building towards. Eight teams have qualified, only three will come out the other side. Okay, I reckon it'll be Volts and Raven West that we have to try and get into the gauntlet with. Uh, we're, uh, we're very, very confident. There's nobody else we consider a serious contender. Yumi's back, it's Moscow, it's the first round of the gauntlet. Finished fifth or higher and it's multi-class. Interesting, yeah okay, so multi-class in the gauntlet. So we're not even in the same class as people we've got to try and beat. And we are in trucks. Why is, why is Yume instantly my nemesis? Surely we're working together to get into the gauntlet and instantly, without making any contact, Yume is my nemesis. Okay, great run. We'll just squish this mini. And nice, thankfully, all of these AI cars in front of me seem, to, seem grouped together. So that should be much easier to make progress. There's Laurie, we're gonna instantly get past her. We've got more power. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just squish Hannah. Nathan, a million miles out in front. Okay, 
I need, I need the inside line, but I can't get it, so we're just going to charge on the outside, try and watch out for understeer. I've got a, a mini on the inside. Go around the outside of this one as well. Trying to be... I'm trying not to run them over, let's be honest. Try to switch back on clear. Sorry, clear. It's P2, though, and that is going to be into the next round. We've got to finish fifth or higher. It's an elimination. Let's go with this view. And let the absolute chaos commence. Oh, Jeez, curbs. I'll let you see the steering angles because I am having to work very hard on the wheel to keep this thing in check. We're in danger. P10. Ooh. Got hit from behind. I mean, that was a good recovery, but that's me out. I got hit from behind, spun it. Yeah, we're going to have to restart this one. Can we squeeze down the inside? Oof. Could have been a bit more aggressive, but I didn't want to cause more trouble. Oh, cheers, Claire. That makes me feel better. So I didn't have to crash into her to get past her. She just wiped out herself. We're in fifth, though. I think fifth is where we need to be. So I've, and we are going to get eliminated in this. So I've got basically the next countdown timer to hang on to this position. And that should be good. Keep it together. Tight corner. No, no, no. No, we're sixth. Come on. No. No, I think we needed fifth. <sighs> right, we go again. Come on. I just want to get past Valentin. There we go. That gives me a buffer. Fourth. Tanaka. If you'd be so kind as to let me through, because it doesn't matter where you finish, we are always going to get through as long as I finish ahead of ahead of the objective, so fifth place. Okay, I'm going to break nice and early. Don't miss our apex. Block the inside line. There we go. Yes, we've done it. P3. Whew. That was tough. Raven West 1-2. Seneca 3-4. That's what we want. For now, we continue to stay in the fight. Pff, handful of races left. Oh, okay. We're fourth behind Volpini, which is, I think, Claire Fox and Co. Indianapolis, and it's snowing. All right. Fourth or better. Stock cars, Indianapolis, snow. Yes. In reverse, because why not? I feel like this one's going to be tougher than the last one, though. Ooh, ooh Laurie. That was your fault. This is this is a discipline that we've missed, actually. I'm, I'm really glad this is in here, because oval racing is huge fun. Oh, my God. What just happened? We're going to restart that one. Visibility is shocking, but that's cool because the sunset and the snow. There's the same big crash as last time. Okay, we got through it that time. P3, that is enough to qualify, so we just need to keep it clean. Do not worry, we will get this done. Shouldn't have spoken so soon. <sighs> Sorry, Lara. That's going to be an easy P3. Could have been worse if I'd have not if I'd have um, hit the the Raven West car a little bit harder, but we survive. Seneca have survived this far, hanging on by their fingertips. But if they lose this race, the dream is over. A time attack around Okatama. Very happy about that. Oh, it's point to point. Okay, less happy about that. <laughs> Got to finish second. And it's time attack. Oh no, maybe, no, sorry, it's a race. Okay, it's sorry, I said it was time attack. It's not. It's a race in time attack cars. Oh, four wheel drive off the line though. I've got to finish top two here, so essentially, best of the rest behind one of the Raven West cars, and I've got to beat at least one of them, and I've got to beat Tanaka, the inspirational and returning Tanaka, of course. Let's just follow Nathan. I don't necessarily want to lead, because, okay, I'm leading. Take that back. Let's just pretend I do want to lead, because I don't really know this point to point yet. Again, I'm just constantly looking at the map to know where to go. Should have been paying more attention to the map, as I was telling you that. Oh! <laughs> Let's see, this is where it went wrong. As I was telling you, I was going to look at the map. Oof. Okay, deep into the first hairpin. That's fine, though. There's lots of space, so I don't mind going in deep, carrying more speed on entry if I if it gives me the space to avoid the AI on the exit, to be quite honest. As long as we're in first or second, that is all that matters. Because we need to get Seneca to this final. Oh, contact with Nathan. Oh, it's Tanaka. Okay. Are we going to go side by side through here? Yes, we... You... What? You may. What was that? Okay, we're down to fourth. We got it all to do. I did well to save that, but me and Tanaka have just screwed each other over, and uh, Seneca are in trouble. Unless I can 
get back to the front, which, to be fair, is not taking too long. Good to see Yumi right back at the sharp end, though, after everything that's happened. Oh, look at that. Now, that's... Okay, that was... I see that as a Yumi apology. She's backed off Lara, so I can get through to the lead. That is her saying, I'm sorry. Keep it absolutely floored. Tanaka right on my tail. It's going to be a 1-2 for Seneca. Yes, that is great. And we're into the final. I think this might be the last couple of, of events now. This is the final. It's a three-team shootout for the final. I wasn't sure if this was going to take place over a couple of different races. Less than 24 hours now oh, here we go. Claire in her element. Raven West, Volts and Seneca have been taking practice laps all weekend. Oh, Lara. Hey, Ajit. Oh, she's going to tell them. All right. Look, there's something that I need to show you. Good on you, Lara. They've been cheating. I mean, that's low. And has your nephew ever won a single honest race? What are we talking about here? Denial. The sad thing is you didn't even need to. You have a great driver. You're just holding her back because she's not named McCain. Damn. You just ended your career. I hope you know that. Snitches get stitches. I quit. Oh, Lara's gone. Good on you. She's seen the light of day. She should have joined another team at the start, but we'll forgive her. That's the only reason why I haven't reported this yet. Oh, Marcus hasn't reported it. Interesting. <laughs> he mad. You ready for me to uh, to fail badly and restart and then maybe win? Finish in first place. Let's do it. Let's just do it. One race, guys. The end of the story mode. Is there six cars there? So who's replacing Lara? Oh, Ryan! Ryan McCain, he's making his return! I love it. Right, let's go for that kind of, uh, we'll go for this view. So, Ryan McCain returns to the cockpit. Now, I have no idea where I'm going, can't see a thing in the rain. And I'm going to have to win this one. It's two laps as well. Down the inside. Too much. Visibility is absolutely atrocious. That's flat out all the way through here. We're still on lap one, guys, so it's... That was a brick wall. The car's gone. Oh, okay. No, that's... I've just binned it where Tanaka binned it. Okay, guys, I've got big damage, so I'm not going to learn as much. I'm going to restart this one. Right, we try this again. We try this again. And again, I'm because I didn't make it so far on that one, I'm not expecting to, to win this race this time. The lack of visibility is very frustrating. So, like, strain, I'm straining to try and look where to go. Tight corner again. Curb. Get off the curb. Don't mind crashing into Ryan McCain because he shouldn't be there. And you're cheating, so... I have no sympathy. Now, this is where it went all horribly wrong last time, so... This is going to need a lot of attention. Contact. Oh! Oh! Something happened to Ryan McCain. It's a very long lap, this. 2 minutes 30 we're already up to. We're gonna... Laurie's just gone straight around the outside of me and hit me. And I've been hit again. Yeah, I don't seem to care where I am at all. I can't see a single thing. I've crashed into Tanaka. Could go with a kind of bonnet view. That might be the way to go for this particular challenge. Okay, how far behind the leader are we? We're, we're a second behind Valentin bit further behind Nathan, but we've got considerable damage now. Thanks to those shunts, we're going outside of Valentin. Instantly, visibility is far, far better. Oh, I thought that was a different corner, actually. I was going to take it flat out, but it's a different left-hander. It looks similar. I've been, again, crashed into multiple times, down to fifth. These, no, one's, no one's racing cleanly in this race. Dab of the brakes from Tanaka. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, they have they have picked something tricky for the last race. Surely coming up to the finish quite soon. Another kind of kind of couple of hairpin sweepers. This is definitely where we can make some inroads on Nathan. It's nice to have some slow corners at the end because we're definitely way quicker than the eye through the slow ones. But that's going to be it. P2. Okay, okay. That is the warm up. Didn't quite do it. Front bumpers off in the end. If I just avoid the damage and do it again, but better, I should be okay. Oh. Tough, tough final test. If I can get out in the lead early on while Nathan's still right there, we've got every chance. My lap time's got considerably better throughout that race as well. Sorry, I say considerably better. There's only two laps. My second lap was a lot better than the first. Oh, 
hey Nathan. That was a clean move on Nathan McCain. I'm going to remember that I did one clean move in the final. Because <laughs> it might be the only one into Tanaka Chicane, which Tanaka took way faster than I did. Oh yeah, much faster. Oh, okay. Oh no! I've done all my hard work. I've got damage. Oh no! Oh, it's going to be another restart. It is a bit mental to do, to do a track for the first time in the final race. Trying to remember, there's a tight corner at the end of this one. Look at McCain stretching the gap. 1.7, 1.8. Unless Nathan is very slow for the scripting. I'm not going to do it, guys. Second place again. Much faster race time, but still the same gap to the leader. Let's make our gearing slightly longer. It's, it's wet, so we should maybe soften up the springs a little bit. I'm, I'm feeling confident. I feel like I can definitely do it on this attempt. But I felt like I could do it in the last attempt, and I just, the pressure got to me in the second lap. It was still a decent lap, but there was just a few mistakes. I have to be perfect. Oh, auto spin curve, bit of contact. Hairpin. Yes, okay. We're in the lead. I feel this softer setup does feel better in the wet, which, which credit where credit's due is kind of how it should be. That might be the winning decision, to be honest. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself, because look at the speed Nathan has in a straight line. Oh, that one was almost a miss. Watch the brick wall that I hit earlier. But we just need to hang on to the lead. Take a wider line through here. Oh, hello. Oh, man. Let's just stay focused. Again, still not, not much straight line speed, but the slipstream. Oh, wow, the slipstream. Oh, he's defending to the right. I thought he was going left. There's a corner coming up soon. This is terrifying. No! Let's go around the outside of him. I think that worked. He's half a second behind me. It's looking good, but it's not over. Hairpin. Is he going to try and go around the outside? Surely not. Okay, first of the horrible corners. If I'm in first coming out of this, we're in a good position. And I am. This is it then, guys. Last couple of hairpins. Feeling a bit better now, just need to concentrate and not screw up this hairpin because the last corner I can take flat out and I should be okay. Understeer through there, he's right on the back of me, a tenth behind. Gonna give him the space because I can keep the throttle pinned. There it is, out the last corner, we've got a seven tenth gap and guys, I'm gonna do it. We've finally defeated the final chapter of the story mode on Grid Legends. By far and away the most challenging chapter of the whole game, which is how it should be for a final fight. Marcus is happy, Tanaka's happy, Raven West still finished second and third, so Tanaka being that happy is a surprise. And Ryan McCain on the podium in his return, but guys, we've done it. We've finally done it. Oh, there's a replay of that. <laughs> they were as stressed as I was, that's for sure. Look at the team. Scenes, absolute scenes. And that's going to be it, guys. The credits are going to roll. I'm going to let you listen to them, but thank you so, so much for tuning into these episodes. I really, really enjoyed it. Take care. See you later.